Hey guys, this is Robbie Brown with Tricksfire. Today I'm gonna be running I'm gonna run you through the ten default desktop gadgets that come pre-installed with Windows 7. To in order to enable these, you're gonna want to go to control panel, then programs, then hit add to gadgets to the desktop. These are gonna come up and all you have to do is just drag them onto the desktop. I have them all already preloaded, so I'm gonna start off. This first one you see all the way here on the left is the calendar. Saturday, 15 March 10. You can expand it and leave it like that so you can see the entire month and then the upcoming months. That's that. Then you have the analog clock. Um, I would only use it if I hide my taskbar, otherwise, I'm fine with the digital. I can change certain settings, such as which, which clock to appear. I have a couple different ones. I have a flower. I have a blue one if you have a blue desktop, red, bunny. I can have a clock name, so I'll say Robbie's clock. And then I can change my time zone if I needed to. So it might be helpful if I'm currently in one time zone and I want another time in another one fairly fast. But okay. You can see it says Robbie's. Here you have your CPU meter. On the left is the percentage of CPU being used. I'm at 73%. On the right, in the smaller clock is the RAM usage, 37%. I can make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. Over here I have a currency calculator. It lets me know the currency from any of its predetermined currencies to another one. For now I'm just going to use US dollar to say, say I wanted to from US to Japanese yen. I can input an amount. Generally it is at one dollar. So one dollar US is 90 yen and then I can put in any number and change it say um, $18 is 1626 yen then you have your RSS feeder that comes predetermined with some popular RSS feeds such as uh, MSNBC, USA.gov, stuff like that you can make it a little bit bigger to see them better actually I'm gonna make it bigger and then um, you can go ahead and just go to your settings and choose certain feeds, I'll say all feeds and say 100 feeds and just okay and as you can see I have a bunch more feeds from popular government stuff like that then you have your Windows Media Player uh, if you were to click any of these they would open up the entire Windows Media Player I'm not going to click it because my Windows Media Player takes a long time to open while I have Camtasia running but I think you all know what the Windows Media Player looks like and that's all it opens up right here you have quick settings for your printer on to print photos so say I just wanted to quickly print a photo on a certain setting, I could do that. And then also they have a nice little link to create projects online. Then you have some printer settings you can click, such as a quick page setup, and then a couple other little settings. Here you have your weather. Generally this is just the small version of it. If you were to expand it, it shows you the weather for today, high, low, and then the high, low for the next day, the next day, and the next day. The settings you can change include just location and Fahrenheit and Celsius. Now it's in Celsius. Okay, this right here is a picture viewer, picture slideshow. You can make it big or small. Then you can change the settings to where you're getting the pictures from, how often each picture comes, and then transition. So say I wanted to go to pixelate. Okay, make it a little bigger. And as you can see, it pixelates from picture to picture. There you go. This last one is a puzzle. It's a bird, and all you do is click on it, and the square moves to the open spot. Just pretty generic. It times you up here on the top. As you can see, I've been working this on. I've been working on it for about six minutes now, even though I just kind of clicked it once and left it. But that's all the default desktop gadgets. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and rate the video what you think it deserves. Subscribe. Leave a comment. If you're watching this on chicksfire.net, thanks for coming, and I'll hope you return soon.